Now you just want to be a voice? <laughs> yeah, I'll be a voice. I'm not really appropriately looking right now. I don't think I look that great. Just <laughs> <laughs> like, quickly just fix my hair. <laughs> Give myself a bit of blush. <laughs> Get that natural blush going. <laughs> oh my god. And I'm back doing another reaction video for you. So am I. <laughs> yeah, so we have Sienna Uni on Hello. Skype. Noises. <laughs> Find where it went. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Doing what? It's not working. No. Uh, we gotta get it to work. I'm crying. I'm just, I'm ready. I'm here. <laughs> no matter what, I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you, but. <laughs> no, I suggest you don't because I look very stupid right now. You look beautiful. Everyone watching, I'm just dancing like an idiot. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with track one because yeah, why the hell not? Right. <laughs> Go for it. You can it stop recording. I don't know when it stopped recording. No. That's kind of bad. Okay. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, I loved all of the songs. I love it so much. <laughs> Which is why, like, Okay, in the newspaper, mm. there was an article about it. Mm. Written, did you see it? I think it was Daily Telegraph. I don't remember which one, but the writer's from Melbourne, and he was just like, oh, it got me so pissed off because the beginning of it was like all, oh, okay, so like it's K-pop and they're taking over the world and they he spelled all of their names right. So I'm like, okay, cool. But then he got into critiquing the album. First of all, RM, who's like the, he said, leader slash translator. And I'm like, bitch. <laughs> <You're really wicked. laughs> like lead rapper, translator, like, and I'm like, what? And it was like, he gets, like, he's overhyped and all of this stuff. And then he's like, and then his rapping was really outdated and bad whereas Sugar and J-Hope don't get enough time and they're brilliant and I'm like Did, does he want um I know but him? no then then the other thing that stood out to me was the fact where he was just like okay one he was like there's like things about plagiarism and then he was also oh, mm. God, don't get and me then with he, plagiarism thing. he was also saying that they're turning more into like 90s American pop boy group which is outdated and all of this stuff and that no and then here were the three vocalists yeah the vocalists. Th mm -mm. <laughs> and then the three vocalists what was it his... you something about cookie I'm a hit <laughs> I can't I'm remember like exactly. I can't remember exactly what he was saying. I can't remember exactly what he was saying, but he was just like, and like the three vocalists, Jim and V and John Cook, don't get enough lines, but when they do, they get all this. And I'm just thinking that like John Cook gets so many fucking lines. <laughs> like he's like they're underrated. He's like the three underrated ones, and I'm like, are you thinking saying that V, Jimin, and Jungkook are the underrated ones in BTS? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, now I'm just gonna buy a plane ticket. No, but I'm then, then he was saying like about Jin. <laughs> oh god. Oh, he was like, oh, and then there's Jin and blah 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 blah. But I mean, he's. He's, he's handsome, so it's fine. And I'm like... You did not just say that about me. <laughs> and then the only redeeming thing about it was the fact that he said, but I like them as a band. The music's not that great. I don't like the album. 
but them person their personalities are good. Plus, I have my biases, like I have my favourites, which are V and Jungkook, and I'm like, <sighs> are you fucking kidding me right he now? He does not deserve to have V or Jungkook as his biases. Was I got like, cause it started off so good, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna. F no, no. Oh see, my god. See, he, this guy is obviously, this guy's in Melbourne, that's great, because all I need to do is hop in the car and go there and shit all the time all the time. <laughs> <laughs> ever saying bad about any of my boys. Oh my god. The RM leader slash translator. Just because he can speak English. Just because he <laughs> main, he's the main winner. one who speaks English because he actually learnt when he was little. Yeah, exactly. And they could all roughly understand it, like Cookie said on his V-Life after SNL, but he pretty much could understand everything that the American interviewers were saying before um, Johnny translated it. It's just that he didn't, wasn't able to properly reply. Yeah, I mean, it's like, 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 like they, I... They, they can understand, they're not... I, don't, I mean, like, with me, with Korean, I can understand a lot more than I think I do. Mm, it's just the same. fact that I don't know how to respond. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. If you ask me a question in Korean, I can understand what you're asking, but I don't know how to answer in Korean, so yeah. it's like... Exactly. And the freaking plagiarism thing. Global press conference, right? Mm. On the global press conference, one of the... Um, Korean reporters asked them about the plagiarism thing and you could just see like it was like it was like it was on Jimin's face you could just see how I his think face I saw that so sad I was like I was like oh my god pitchfork <laughs> no, I'm going to Korea <laughs> protect my Jiminy <laughs> I mean, it's like when they first came to America, oh where everyone was like, oh, you're starting to get really popular, you should do a full album in English, and they were like... Like, I know, that's not, it's not fair. Oh, I was just so, so mad, and like, you could just see, like, all of them, just like, kind of just trying to, like, not get upset, and thank goodness, Yoongi, oh, <laughs> thank goodness for Opa, and he just, he just went, like, straight... Our company are dealing with it, and we we stand by the company and whatever they say, and that's the end of that question. Boom, like that, and I was like, "Well, bye, you genius. I love you." <laughs> but like, literally, you could just see all of them, and all oh, freaking cookie, that little shit. Like he literally just like looked at the reporter, and then he just kind of like looked down, started writing, and just did like this little smirk. He's like. Oh, you're really going there? <laughs> He's just like, destroyed. oh, Minyoungi is gonna like, eat yeah. you. <laughs> oh, yeah, like it was just, I just knew that like, you knew Yungi was gonna just protect all his friends. Oh, but I was just so mad. So mad. I don't deserve that. Like the international media was asking really good questions, like actually, like really, like well thought out questions. Yeah. Which I was actually like, yes, thank you. Um, like they were asking about like how it relates to like John's map of the soul. Funniest one was like, so he's like, Yugi, <laughs> everything you have predicted has come true. What is your next prediction? And it was funny because it was Jim's time to answer. So he's like, this question is for Yugi, but I will answer it. <laughs> of course he fucking will. <laughs> and then Yugi ended up answering it too. But he's like, you're putting too much pressure on me. <laughs> It was funny. Yeah. But like, it was just like, how is international media so much better than Korean media? Like, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> Something just like fell. <laughs> okay, well, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Yeah. Kirby, Kirby face! Annyeong! Annyeong! Annyeong, Annie!